is that I get to work with these guys on a day in and day out basis, and then I get to work with them for four years. Hardest part eventually is moving them on to the next phases of their life. But I'm going to take the time right now, we're gonna acknowledge all of them, let you know all the colleges that they're gonna be going to, as well as their majors. Carly Hokinson, Ithaca College, Physical Therapy. Kayla <laughs> McCormick, SUNY Cortland, Elementary Education. <laughs> Christina Otero, SUNY New Paltz, Communications. <laughs> Gianna Waldron, Suffolk, Graphic Design. <laughs> Noah Tilke, Stony Brook University, Biomedical Engineering. Michelle Mascolo, our salutatorian, Northeastern University, Molecular Biology. <laughs> Alex Allenar, SUNY Binghamton, Chemistry. <laughs> Skylar Law, Suffolk, English. <laughs> Olivia Esposito, Quinnipiac University, Physician's Assistant. Lauren Kelly, University of Buffalo, Nursing. <laughs> Alexandra Moore, University of Colorado Boulder, Integrative Physiology. <laughs> Darren Dutton, Crane School of Music, Music Performance. <laughs> okay, I'm good now. Wait, where are you? Deanna Arts, St. Thomas Aquinas, Art Therapy. Sarah Missler, Crane School of Music, Music Education. Nicholas Menino, SUNY Binghamton, Business. Nicholas Mott, SUNY Binghamton, Mathematics. Harris Infinity, SUNY Portland, Sports Management. <laughs> Nicholas Ramos, SUNY Maritime, Engineering. <laughs> Abby Nardes, Villanova University, Political Science, Army ROTC. <laughs> Philip Lunzig, SUNY Portland, Exercise Science. <laughs> Jared Feldman, SUNY Maritime, Marine Transportation. Amy Hopkins, SUNY Binghamton, Environmental Science. <laughs> Gabriella Pernicone, Crane School of Music, Music Education. <laughs> Thomas Passanante, Stony Brook University, Chemical Engineering. <laughs> Corey Canyon, SUNY Oneonta, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Gabby Malusik, SUNY Oneonta, Math Education. V. Tyler Wallace, Adelphi University, Music Education. Scott Lyons, Queens College, Music Education. Victor Barsati, SUNY Purchase, Film. Thomas Vicino, Berkeley College of Music, Professional Music. Kaylee Smith, Stony Brook University, Anthropology. <laughs> Nicole Schubert, Stony Brook University, Undecided. <laughs> Jack Faraday, Suffolk, Veterinary Science. <laughs> and Matthew Lopez, St. Joseph's College, Psychology. have one big round of applause for all of them. As I said to you before we uh, started this concert, um, it's an absolute joy every day to come to work and work with you guys.
We're having a moment, Mr. Mal. <laughs> um, you know you have a special group when um, they play the way that they do, the way they described it earlier um, in talking about Mr. Lasher as far as the music department of the band being a family, they nailed it right on. We are one big family and we're there for each other um, when we need it the most. And I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for everything that you've done um, this year. You have no idea how much it means to me. Um, everything that you guys have done has been over, above, and beyond. And to come every day and play the way that you do is, a t is just the icing on the cake to that. Where you let, not, let nothing affect you and you just do what's right. And, and that's what makes you special. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to leave you with a couple things. First of all, don't let anybody in the world tell you you are not good enough. Because you, the person that you are, is good enough. <clears throat> Work hard, and everyone else will see that magic shine. Second, your family will always be there for you. I will always be here for you if you need me. Hopefully you won't. <laughs> Hopefully we can still that goodness in you that you can carry on and be the great people that I know you're going to be. And lastly, I'm going to leave you with some words of someone a lot smarter than me. Do what you love. Love what you do. And make a difference in somebody's life. Can y'all hear me? Um, <laughs> wait, is KJ there? Um, J word. Um, <laughs> being in this band with you for the past four years has been the best experience of my life for the most part. Um, I don't like coming to school. <laughs> but the times that I get to spend in the band room are, they, they mean so much to me. The time I spend with you means so much to me. You and Mr. Mal have advice with music, life, girls, even when they don't work out. <laughs> you two have always been there for me and I wanna thank you for that. I wanna thank you for being great teachers. I wanna thank you for my family. And I wanna thank you for being the man you are and always will be. <laughs> all right, so first of all, thanks for making me cry. Really appreciate that. Um, no, you have been like one of the only. Oh, God, no! <laughs> it's definitely not. <laughs> you have been one of the only people that have truly believed in me. You have given me so much confidence throughout the years, and like giving me chances that I never thought I would have. Um, you put me in charge of the whole entire brass section, which I don't understand why, <laughs> but thank you. Um, I hope it turned out well. I hope I did a good job. Um, you have truly been like a school dad to me. You're always there for me no matter what. I think I speak on behalf of the rest of the band when I say that. Um, you're always a person that everyone can turn to, and you're one of the reasons why this band is a family, why this whole music department is a family. So I'd like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for making me not only the musician, but the person that I am today. Meaning to like write a 
a speech for this for at least a year. I never did that. Um, <laughs> the, the difference in the person that I am from freshman year to now is insanely huge, and a lot of that I credit to this band and to you. Um, and yeah, this through music was one of the first ways that I was able to really feel like I could express myself to a wider audience. Um, and I will always be thankful for that, and I, <laughs> I have no idea where I would be right now without this music department. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, the first memory I have of you is telling us in the eighth grade that if we tried out for your band, we wouldn't make it, but we could try anyway. And now we have uh, two freshmen playing with the band right now. Um, yeah, so go easy on the younger kids while I'm a senior. Cool. Um, and yes, I was very scared of you. Uh, but now you're actually like a second dad, a friend, and a role model. And I know we all look up to you and like it's just so incredible. You've given me a place to laugh and love. And this band, like every time I come into this band, every period, it's just somewhere that I can feel safe and happy and welcome. And I love when you whisper to the flute section little stupid things to us and everyone else wants to know what you said, but you won't because it's our secret. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, thank you for giving me the best four years of my life. I don't think I could have gotten that anywhere else. So thank you for that. Mr. Johnson. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart and the bottom of everyone's hearts here for everything you've done for us. You put in the most amount of time and effort that anyone in this school does to make this band as great as it is. You have provided us with a place to laugh, cry. Um, you tell us one of the main things that helps us get through the day is you tell us, show your emotions. Um, show your emotions doesn't make you weak, it makes you stronger. So for that, we thank you. And I'm sorry, but not everything's about you. So. We would like to call Mr. Vincent Malafronte up to the stage. <laughs> so, although unfortunately Mr. Mal is not technically our teacher right now, we have had, personally, um, some of us have had more time with Mr. Mal. Mr. Mao was the middle school band director for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade for half of us here, the ones from Ronkonkoma Middle School. And there was this one day where I was with Abby and a couple other people in lessons, and we were like, Mal, we know there's a spot opening up, please move up, move up with us, move up with us, we can't do it without you. He said, not a chance, I'd never leave the middle school. As if anyone would say that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the very next day we were sitting in band being rowdy as ever, um, misbehaving, and he goes, guys, I have something to tell you. I'll be moving up to the high school next year. And we clapped for him for maybe five minutes straight, and we have never been happier in our lives. Um, we have been with you for over half of our Connect Walk careers, over half of our time in this district, and you've been with us for more than half of your time as a teacher, more than half of your professional career. And you provided this building, Ronkonkoma Middle School, and every place you go, a place that we can call home. Um, you're our therapist, you're our confidant, you're our parent, you're both our parents. Um, I look up to you guys as much as I look up to my own parents. And for that, I truly, sincerely thank you, and I love you guys. Men. 
so the front of the stage is really nice. I've always been in the back for the past four years, so it's cool. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for everything. Even though I suck at percussion, and we both know that, and you continue to laugh at all my playing tests. But what you taught me was that it's not how good you play the notes or how well I play the rhythm or anything. It's how much heart and passion you put into it. And there you go. And I do that every day here, and I've made so many friends and memories here, and like, it's my family, and this is my second family, and I'll always have them, even though I broke the chimes last year in the concert. <laughs> <laughs> Still sorry about that, um, but I can say for all of us, we're not only saddened to leave our homes for college, but saddened to leave that room where everything is great. And even though everyone has my last name, not everyone has you guys, and I'm so grateful. So thank you for everything, even though I won't be able to play half this music in about a year. Thank you. <laughs> for everything you guys have done. You guys are my second and third favorite fathers. Uh, and uh, this is, I just, can we lower it? Can we lower it now? Caitlin, can we lower it now? This is the gift that I, uh, that we got for you guys. Um, I like making a, a dramatic entrance, so. Uh. <laughs> The John Michael Asher Scholarship Fund. Feet together, stomach in, chest out, shoulders back, head up, eyes with pride, eyes with pride. Always in our thoughts, forever in our music and art. I see them more than my own kids, 
So it really is like saying goodbye to your own kids. So thank you so much for letting me have them.